Yesterday, Americo was the first member of the team to find gold in a creek not far from base camp. The 12 flakes of gold in his pan remind Americo why he gave up guaranteed income back home in search of something better. Going through my bag here looking for some clothes for today, and I noticed that my daughters and my girlfriend here wrote me a couple notes. It's good to just remember that they're still thinking about you back home, you know? The reason I'm here is for my daughters, my family. I'll miss you guys while I'm out there. All I've ever asked for was a chance to better my family's life. I came out here to Greenland to strike it rich, to hopefully make some money to change me and my family's life forever. And that's what I expect to do. After sleeping on the news for the night, Americo is excited to surprise the rest of the team. I need a chair of some kind. Really so let's just start. How did, how did you guys do, Jess and Josh and Americo? Yeah, we went down to the waterfall over here where it comes down, found some silty clay okay. down in there and started panning. And my first pan, I found probably about 12 colors. Oh, nice. And then my second one, I found two more. 12 colors in one pan? Yeah. You, what, I Mr. Found the biggest Mr. One. I'm just a beginner panner? <laughs> yeah, I found probably yeah. the biggest one we found yet, which not big, but it's bigger, and then a few small ones. That's beginners a... like oh. Americo is a fast learner. He found gold. Sometimes it's beginner's luck, but you know, he's demonstrated at every turn that he's no longer a newbie. I definitely think it's worth a trip back there. Despite Americo's enthusiasm, not everyone is inspired by the 12 flakes of gold. Everybody's got to stay level-headed. I saw everybody get excited about nine flakes. How many flakes? Not to belittle your fun. Oh, no, not at all. Just my first stuff, and it's in oh. Greenland, but it's cool. I'm not going to risk everything, because we saw a pretty little rock. We need to gather more information. Now we have to verify that the gold is actually in the veins that we believe are on this island. Was that from stuff in the, in the bottom of the wash? It was up on the bank. It we, was in the bank? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's going to pan out and turn into a good mm -hmm. deposit, but we're still uh, in the assessment phase. Yes, I found the most gold here on Storo. I love coming into every situation as the underdog and proving people wrong. The key is to get as much assessment work done up there as we can, so we have a real good feeling of, of what's up there. Eric knows that every jackpot is discovered one flake at a time, and the 12 flakes that Americo found could be a sign of a huge gold deposit somewhere on the mountain. As the geologist and team leader, it's Eric's job to make sure they fully explore all leads. That's right the best now, color we we've have seen. To at least check this yeah. out. Eric hopes that Americo's find is just a sign of things to come. So today, the team will fully prospect the area. The object is to go up there and adequately assess the area. So when we come back, we can say, yeah, it's good, or no, it's no good. Yeah, fair Sounds enough. Good. All right, let's get this day started. Let's, let's go. go. The entire team will trek back to the area named Americo Creek, half a mile south of their base camp. They hope to find the source of gold that is in the water there and follow the flakes to a jackpot upstream. All right. Let's head out. There's thousands of acres that we've tramped over, and we've just looked at tiny little spots, basically. Most of our group is used to prospecting in areas that have proven reserves. But here, it's completely different. It's largely unexplored, so they're not used to starting from ground zero, basically. Eric has traveled over 6,000 miles for the opportunity to uncover riches beneath this massive island's ice sheet. As it melts, the earth below moves upwards as weight is lifted. The land mass is rising up to an inch a year, uncovering new rock. Right, we made it. Yes. Eric wants the crew to spend the day pulling mineral samples from the entire length of the mountain stream. I think this is a good place to start. That's a good spot there on the bend. Yeah. We could drop packs probably and just start, move around let's start here. start digging up here. Let's not after taking a quick visual survey of the spot Americo pulled the gold from, Eric splits the team into three groups to search for the source deposit. Americo, Chad, and Gator will continue working the stretch that produced the flakes. Jack and John will set up 200 yards downstream from there. And Eric and the Felbin brothers will head up the mountains toward an area where car-sized boulders have settled 
called a scree slope. The gold in the water came from somewhere. Now they just need to find out where that is. So just take as many samples as you can, but document your samples. America kind of worked this area right through here on, the, on this bank. Jess and Josh, I'd love to go over there. I'd like to go to the scree slope. The scree slope, this was created by rocks falling. I mean, big chunks of rock falling off the cliffs, which may contain some mineralization and possibly some gold or silver, or different metals in there. Well, that three makes left. sense, a three man. That looks good. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Let's hit it. Americo shows Chad and Gator exactly where he found the flakes of gold. Well, we're going to work our way up this bank and get a couple bulk samples all the way up the bank to make sure that's worth being here and that it wasn't just one little deposit. Get that out, and I'm going to grab me a handful right under that. What do you think, Jack, right in there? You know, this, this sluice box doesn't care as long as it's got plenty of water going How through it. How about right in here? I think this is a decent spot for gold to lay because it slows down right here, and it deposits some material. So I think if there's anything here, we'll find it. Because we're damn good at what we do. Right, Jack? Right on, brother. Oh, look at this. Look at the cracks in that thing. You go back to your pen. Let me do my thing. <laughs> I ain't telling you what to do, Jack. I know better. No, I just want to play in that crack, that's all. <laughs> As he gets ready to head upstream, Eric is caught off guard by the fact that John and Jack seem to be doing more talking than searching for gold. What goes in this well, loose I've, is mine. I've played that. I've played that game, Jack, where you take a little nugget of gold and you just like close your eyes and throw it out in the yard. I haven't lost a nugget yet. I think people talk way too much in this project. I mean, they just talk. They just never stop freaking talking. Hi. Could you keep, keep moving? Sample. Okay. Yeah, we're, just, we're gonna do this bucket and move down. Okay. Sample and document your sample. Eric knows that winter will put an end to the mining season in a matter of weeks. So he can't allow the crew to waste any time. With only two months to work and sample, that's a very short amount of time. We're going to have to be sampling in a lot of different areas and processing and recording all this data. Eric wants samples from different places. We might as well move this loose. It's a lot of legwork for discovering a world-class deposit. Each and every one of us have to be careful to not go into our mode of, well, we love searching for it. You got to be careful with that, because we're here to do a job. We are here to make money. With time winding down, Eric needs his entire crew to produce if they're going to strike it rich this year. And it's just bull 